Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of the 100 Baby Challenge. I hope all of y'all are doing absolutely fantastic because I know that I am. Now, let's see. I have a lot to go over in this episode, so hopefully we can get started on that soon. But before we do, I want to mention that I posted a video a few days ago on April the 1st, which was April Fool's Day. And I think that I did get some of you. I made the video saying that I corrupted the 100 Baby uh, Challenge server and that I needed to start a new one. But no, it was just a prank. It is just fine. There's nothing wrong with it. So, yes, I think I did get some of you. Um, but in the last real episode of the 100 Baby Challenge, I told y'all that I needed to build a third story on the house. And that is what I've done. So, let me walk over here to prevent spoilers. Alright, here we go, guys. And in three, two, one. Woo, there's the third story. <laughs> I know it kind of looks like poop right now, um, but I really don't know what to do with it. So let me head up to the third floor. And now this expands all the way up. So I have this blocked off because I don't know what to do with it just yet. Um, this right here, which I'm very happy with this part, I would consider this like a little sunroom with the big glass windows and you can just you know sit down and relax and just look at the view which is really awesome so I like this part but it's from like this p right here all the way down there I don't know what to do with this I thought about doing like some more balconies or something and I did read one comment in one of my past videos and they suggested something like a pool um but I can't put a pool up here um because it would like drip down the water would drip down and that's that's just no good so i don't know what to do up here guys if you have any suggestions please leave them in the comments that would help me out a lot i'm just kind of i'm out of ideas for for this area over here um, but hopefully y'all have some good ones um and then as far as the bedrooms go um, this is as far as I've gotten. I've only gotten how many? Two, four, six, seven. Seven of these little bedrooms done. Um, all of the bedrooms are, at, I shouldn't say that. Like, all of the bedrooms are actually, like, done. You know what I'm saying? Like, the walls are there. Um, I don't have the doors for this side. But I pretty much just blocked it off because I ran out of wood for the ceiling. Uh, this takes an extreme amount of wood, guys. <laughs> like, stacks upon stacks. Um, but this is how far, like, completed I've gotten. And let's see. What else have I done? Now, as you can probably tell from my uh, hot bar down there, I have 44 levels. And there is a reason for that. Uh, but before I get into that, I'll just kind of explain what was going on. Um, so it was the other day when I was working up there. And I came down here to breed some of the cows so I could get some food. And actually, it looks like they're ready, aren't they? Let's just cook some of our food up. Oh, it's so sad, but we'll get some food. <laughs> um, but, uh, so I came down here to breed some cows, and I kept hearing these zombies, and I dug around everywhere down here, and I did finally find where the noise was coming from, and it's right down here. It's an actual zombie spawner, which I am so excited about. I believe I've only found spiders and skeletons so far, but here is our zombie spawner, and I've turned it into, like, a little, um, mob killer kind of thing. It's just a temporary one. It's not the most efficient way. I would like to turn this into, like, an automatic, like, zombie, zombie spawner <laughs> thing. <laughs> um, but, uh, I did check the chests, and they had all of this stuff in them. They had these music discs, and they had two name tags, guys, which I am so happy about. Um, now we can actually name our horses that are in our backyard, which is, oh, uh, it's just fabulous. 
And um, so pretty much what I do is I just break all the torches and then I just sit down here and I kill them. And that's how I've gotten um, all of these levels, which the levels I'm going to use to uh, try and get some, like, god enchantments on my uh, armor because I desperately need some good armor enchants. Um, but before we do that... I do have, I, I, don't, I don't really know if it's bad news, I'm not really sure, um, but while I was down there, um, killing some of the zombies, I got this little, uh, little chat notification, and it said that Madeline is infected, and Madeline is our girl down here, as you can see it says infected, um, which I'm not really sure what that means, um, I'm pretty sure that, I don't, I don't really know. I don't know if we can cure her with, like, uh, a potion of weakness. I do have some, like, golden apples and stuff. So, pretty much what I think we are going to do, let's just grab this. Um, I'm going to make an iron door. And, let me see... Whoops, where am I at? There we are. <laughs> I can find my stuff for a second. And then let me go over here to the cobblestone. I'm just going to grab some of that, make a little button. And now we're going to head up to her room. So my plan is to just pretty much, like, trap her in here because I, I don't know what to expect, guys. But if she is infected, I don't know if it can, like, infect my other children. So... Um, I'm just going to put that door there, and then I have a button, and yeah, that works just fine. So, let's come in here. This is her room. Ooh, I'm nervous, guys. All right, here we go. This is our baby Madeline. All right, I'm very, very nervous. I don't know how this is going to go, but here we go, guys. Ready? One, two, three. <gasps> oh, no, she's a zombie. Can I click on her? Oh, she's only four and she's infected. This is so sad. Oh my gosh. Okay, can we can we set her home? I'm not sure if we can. Stay? Okay, so I don't... Infected villagers cannot do chores. So, is she just... Surely there's a cure. Okay, so I'm guessing she's pretty much just like a regular zombie villager. So, my hope is that this will work. Alright, you ready guys? Here we go. I'm going to throw that down. And, hold on, i got to get my golden apple and my inventory. And gift. Nothing happened. She just grew a little bit. Now it says age 5. What? Okay. I'm so confused. Did that not work? Do I have to give her more? Like, give her more golden apples? Um, let me run and get some more golden apples that I have. Okay, here we go. Potion and gift. Now it says she's nine. Do I do it again? She's 12 now. What? I'm so confused, guys. This is not good. Um, she's like, I, I don't know, like, with regular zombie villagers, they don't, you know, they don't take your golden apples, but with these, or with Madeline, they do. So, I'm really confused, guys. Uh, you can leave a comment down below and tell me what to do. I'm not really sure. Oh, this is very sad, though. Look at her. She's a zombie. She's got, like, blood all over her. That's, that's really sad. Okay, um... I'm just going to leave you in there, Madeline. Well, the next part of this episode is just to start enchanting. And does this get level 3? Um, in, not level 3 enchantments, but does it have, like, level 30 enchantments? I'm not sure. Um, maybe. Maybe it does. I'm not really that sure. Um, but my pants and my helmet did break, so I made new ones. And let's see, this is just our regular diamond chest plate. So we could probably, do I have one up here from an Easter egg uh, armor? Yes, I do. And we have some new boots too, so that will come in handy. So let's come back down here. Now we have a fresh pair of armor. 
So let's try and get some good um, enchants on this. Um, usually we need, like, protection and unbreaking, so let's see if we can get protection two and unbreaking three. Oh my god, that would cost 23 levels, that's so much. Let's just get unbreaking one and protection two. Alright, here we go, there you go, protection two, unbreaking one, and let's see, let's get our diamond boots, um... Protection, protection, should we get protection or feather falling? Feather falling might be pretty good. Um, and then like unbreaking, feather, fall, feather falling three, I think. Yeah, that only costs, or feather falling four. <gasps> Ooh, oh man, that's a hard choice, guys. Feather falling four, and then how much would it be for that? 16, 16 levels. I think I'm going to go for that. All right. Oh, oh, whoops. I just took it out of there. <laughs> okay, so we're going to get Feather Falling 4, Protection 1, and Unbreaking 1. Not Repair. There we go. All right, so that's a pretty good pair of boots. Uh, let's see what we can get for the helmet here. Um, Aqua Affinity Respiration... Unbreaking one. Um, I guess protection two. Can we get a little aqua infinity? Maybe. No. Is that would that cost? I think that costs too many levels. Okay. Well, we're just gonna go for that. Now we have six levels left, guys, and that's not a whole lot. But we'll see what we can do for our pants. Um, okay. Protection two is already gonna cost five levels. Can we... Oh, nope. Not enough levels requires 11. Okay. Well, you know what? I think that I'm just gonna... I'm almost there anyways. So, I will meet you back. I'm just gonna get a few more levels. Okay, guys. It has been a little while. And I've killed some more zombies and skeletons and whatever else I could find. And I did get a golden helmet. It looks spiffy. Um, but now we're gonna go in here. And we're gonna put our enchantment on this. So, protection to... And I'm breaking one. And there we go. So now look at that, guys. We have a pretty good pair of diamond armor. Look, all of our armor bars are all the way up, which is awesome. Now we have six levels left because I went a little over. Um, but I think what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to make a diamond sword. Um, so let me see. Do I have it? Yes, I do. I have a stick and... Let's Mayo go ahead and make this diamond sword. And let's head back down. Whoops, there we go. Nope, okay, there we go. <laughs> and let's throw this in here. Now let's see what we can get. I really want a fire aspect sword. And looting would be awesome. And of course sharpness. Um, I guess right now we'll get maybe a sharpness one. Let's see. How much would that be for unbreaking? Oh, that would require seven. Okay. So I guess right now we could get maybe a sharpness two. That looks like it. So that'll be all right. We can keep adding on. Um, but that's okay for right now. So yeah, this is this has been pretty, pretty good. We got a really good pair of armor, which I'm excited about. And my plan is to possibly be going... Um, to the end here soon that's why i'm trying to get stacked up on some really good armor um but yeah so i guess just to end this episode off i want to have one baby um let's see i have to go all the way up here and we're gonna go right over here and let's see our lovely husband drew hello drew how are you let's uh oh he didn't like that, did he? Okay, let's uh let's give him a kiss then. Okay, there we go. And let's uh hit that procreate button. Woo! What's it gonna be? It's a boy! Yay! Okay, so now I have to find a boy's name. Um, let me pull this up on the side here. 
So since we just had Madeline, I believe that we are on in now. And I do have a comment here and they suggest the name Nick. And that is what we are going to go for. So there is our baby boy, Nick. Ah, Drew, do you want to hold him? Here, you can hold our baby. There you go. Look at him. He's holding our baby. Yeah, you be good to him. Do not get him killed. I am trusting you with his life. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I think that that is going to be the end of this episode. If you did enjoy, be sure to smack that like button and I will see you all again next time.